All right, Test Drive Unlimited, uh, Solar Crown. Let's have a look at the demos, see what we've got. There are some uh, bugs, obviously, in the game. It's a demo, um, still in development, but uh, yeah, so let's see what we've got. Right, well, let's have a look at this demo. So, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. So, increase your reputation to gain access to new cars, new upgrade parts, and new clothes. Ah, good. Perfect timing. What do you think of the dealership? That's As part right. of the competition, we have made many places like this one available across the island. We want to ensure our participants have access to the best cars possible. However, you won't be able to drive some of these cars until you've gained enough reputation. The organization has Got the it. means to match its ambitions. And as it happens, here are the first three cars available to start the competition. Take your pick. The Solar Crown would like to credit your account with your first solar coins. Give me those solar me, coins. I must leave you for the time being, but I imagine we'll have the pleasure of speaking again. In the meantime, you can now compete against other members of the Solar Crown. Good luck! Hmm. We're hitting X. Come on. If you're not sure which car to choose, try it out first. Perfect. That's what the test drive is for. Let's test drive this. That's not too bad. It's just a ding. Nothing to be worried about. Interesting, so it seems to be relatively nice graphics on it. Although I do feel like some of the things uh, could be a bit sharper, but it is in demo beta mode. So it could just be a case they're trying to optimize that type of stuff still, so that's all good. See the seats, damn. There it is. So I wonder if we actually get uh, damage our car if we hit other cars once we own it. I mean, it definitely is responsive, that's for sure. Photo mode, of course. Now that we've dinged the car up. Looks like we're going back to the showroom to test another car. as 
what. Um, so basically what we've got, we can have driving views like this, dark like that, in game, in car further, hood view, without the hood, or back to the actual car. Now I am going to run with it like this because generally how I drive the Forza Horizon 5. This feels good. Now we've got it set at medium graphics because I've got an RTX 3080 uh, card, 10, 10 um, gig RAM on it. So that seems probably be the better, better suited card for it. I'm going to see like are the frames holding pretty well. So I've heard some people say the frame rates they weren't as impressed with. Um, others have been really poly uh, happy with it. The environment is really in depth. Get around here. So far, oops. get through here. Now, the thing when you do testing cars, you get a couple of minutes to two minutes to. So you know if the car's good for you, if you're happy with it, or do you want something with a bit uh, a bit more different drive handling. But that to me looks pretty solid. So far, so once again it's fully released, it should have a lot more um, happening in it. Now, as mentioned, we, we can't get that, we have insufficient funds for this, and it's not available this car yet. I'd like to wish it was available, but uh, let's see, what else do we have? This car would not be available, but. Uh, can you fall in here? No, you can't. Mercedes G-Wagon. Let's have a look at it. That's what we're here for. Now, photo mode in this as well. Uh, you see at the very bottom of the screen it has a photo mode option, down button. So we're going to just pull up here, photo mode. So obviously you've got various options. It's basically similar to um, Forza. So we can go up and down with the, uh, in this case the D-pad because I'm using a controller. If you want to get rid of the lines, if you're on a DualShock PS4 in particular, you use the middle um, rectangular sensor, pushy thing, and you can get rid of the lines. So that's pretty cool. You also have advanced options, blur strength, depth of field, focal distance, Environment, you can turn the uh, car only, player, or all of it hidden. So if you just want an environment, you can get an environment. So, you know, it's got those options. It'd be great for thumbnails, actually, some of these. Other players, you can turn them on or off. Traffic, visible or car only. So again, it's giving you options. But uh, not much left time with the uh, car to drive from Mercedes, so we'll uh, crash into this car, of course. That's what we do. Definitely, it looks good so far, though.
That car was not available to us. What car was? These cars. We have an Alpine. A Ford Mustang. And it looks like you can actually have a look in the car as well. Can we pop the boot? No, we can't. Enter car. All right. If you insist. What's that one over there? The oh, all good. We'll exit the car. We have test driven this one earlier. It's a bit of a beast. And then we have the Nissan. We haven't driven this one. Can't pop the bonnet, the boot on it, of course. All right, can we honk the horn? I want some air horns. All right. Well, I think we're going to uh, get this car, I think. See what we can do with this uh, this beast. View information. Let's buy him. Oh, that's bright. But you know what? We're going to go yellow. Mellow yellow. We get interior options. That's pretty neat. Um, So we've got a yellow car and that's going to match. Ah, let's do it. Common rims. Done. We now have a car. Let's... Uh, Reputation increase. One step closer to a, a race. Congratulations. Have fun with your brand new car. Oh, I will. You haven't seen my driving style. That DMX song uh, says it best for my driving. Congratulations on acquiring your very first car. This is when you fully enter the tournament. You can now take part in the first races of the Solo Crown. Ooh, your car is already eligible for the races. Bam. All you need to do is go to the starting locations. I'm guessing the other elements on there, the other un grayed out areas must be available unlocked once it's released, or maybe they're DLC, who knows? Um, but it's a huge map. Um, Thank you, Alice. All the races are grouped together around meeting points, which makes it easier for you to meet other participants. Awesome. Do well in these races to start making a name for yourself. Oh, I've got it. I have updated my firmware. I have also connected you to my other users, if that's of interest to you. I have no idea what that means, Alice. Please, please tell me. They have just finished the selection process. You can finally meet them. Okay. Um, makes perfect sense. Uh, well. Ah, so it's sort of like the old, um, 
gang type areas as well, like the Saints Row gang type areas. Gas station. Okay, so we do need to repair the car at some point. That's going to be useful. I wonder how much we'll be spending on that. Italian cars. Well, let's get into a race. Uh, leisurely stroll. Select. Um. So if we want to do a leisurely stroll, how do we actually select it? Ah, here we go. So you've got to select it and it will drop the GPS on the map. And then it will drop this like, um, of course it has the drive. Right now. Perfect. What the hell is that car doing? Some reputation for just driving. Wow. So, so far, this feels pretty good. And I like that I can actually change the drive computer how I prefer it, um, which is like this. Uh, but you know, at least you know you can still put it into more in, in game view. Yeah, I had this crazy impression that you couldn't do this in uh, this game, have this mode, and I thought it was going to be locked to in game view, but uh, you have arrived. I think I'll enjoy it because I can do this mode. You have increased your reputation. Congratulations. Your reputation is extremely important in the Solar Crown. It's what makes you a legend. The more you take part in events around the island, the more attention you'll receive. And with more reputation, You'll gain access to races and cars that are we only available these. to a select few. I've marked your next race. You can open your map to check its location. Is it a leisurely stroll? In 400 meters, turn left. I thought we'd actually marked that to actually go to, but apparently we hadn't. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Come on, get around that car. You can do it. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the green marker ahead. Something on... So I've never actually played a test drive game you before. X to play. Yes. First race we're doing is going to be good. Wait, it's going to hit start. I'm sure there's ways you can change the setup in the car a bit, but uh, so we've got to be two minutes and ten seconds. Go U three seventy. Okay. 
sometimes when the car goes around the corner it does feel like it's not running as good a frame rate as it could, but again, it's it's in beta testing, so it's all good. From what I've heard, they're trying to optimize it and they've been struggling with the optimization, so I would assume that, that would be part of the reason. Ooh, that's close. I'm trying not to crash my car. But, uh, definitely trying to not do uh, Hot Wheels DLC 4 as a driving. Excellent. We haven't figured out how to change the character model yet. I'm guessing this is just something that you... You just have a standard for the demo. You get a reputation bump up. Uh, new record, first time I've raced. Get some money. Okay, first win of the day. We're going to leave the race. So on the map you'll see the dark green when I've clicked that will highlight where it's going to go to to get me to the next race, the shopping in one, ch uh, one chai. In 200 meters, so that sets the blue line up. location we will hit uh, there we go hold the X down and we're rolling we've got the right car for it we've got race preparation happening So obviously it's trying to find other people online to race against. Um, Kev, uh, Kevin's got uh, a Mustang. Okay. Finish in the best place. Of course we will. Uh, we'll do average, I think. Um, we can only try. Get around here. there but that's all good Keep on running that 
Mustang definitely has a little bit more power than what I've got, I think. Oh. Okay. She slid on the road a bit. Tree chopped down quickly. I don't know, the racing, it, it feels reasonable, but it, it doesn't feel like it's got the flow that I'm used to in Forza. But obviously, it's not Forza, but um, that said, it, there's something weird about it. take first place. I have no idea what happened with Kevin there. He just went right through and went straight. And that made no sense. Now either he dropped out. No, he must have finished. But then again, yeah, it, it is a demo, so it's going to have its quirks. Now you do get some music in the background normally, but for um, recording purpose we've got that deactivated so it doesn't get copyright struck. We'll take the victory there and level up. Excellent. Got a little bit of money for that one. That, uh, that's not too bad. Let's leave the lobby, go back to the main area. So far it's... Uh... The Solar Crown wishes to inform you that a new bulletin is incoming. Okay. The Solar Crown is there to help you in the competition. You can now access our workshops. The workshops are fitted out with cutting-edge technology and fully automated. You can upgrade every little detail of your cars. The Solar Crown Committee wants to congratulate you well. on your recent progress. They're offering you some solar coins so you can buy your first car part. Don't worry, a list can tell you everything you need to know. Thank God. Some frame rate uh, workshops open, so petrol stations we're looking at. Pretty cool. I noticed my car's a little bit dinged up from the race as well, so I'm guessing we're going to need to fix that as well. I've unlocked several new races for you, but it looks like your current car doesn't meet their restrictions. That's not good. This means you can't enter the race if your car isn't powerful enough. Damn it! You need to go to the workshop to make these modifications. I have marked it on your map. Thank you, Elise. Alright, so... It will help if I teach you how to upgrade your car. I have marked a workshop on your map. Let's go there and get our hands dirty. Oh my dirty. god. Come on, Elise, just... Let's get this on with. So we can fast travel. Uh, let's fast travel inside the workshop. All right. Oh, man. So when you're in here, basically, uh, 
if there's people around you can turn your microphone off of course uh, so if uh, if you go into the far bottom right hand corner if people are in there in the general you be able to then turn them uh, turn the voice chat off and you'll see the bottom of the screen uh, in this case joy for my joystick the uh, right one I'd click it and I could cycle through that for instance so here is my car it was dinged up outside a bit but it's now looking a hell of a lot better welcome to the workshop here you can buy and install parts or change the appearance of your car to stand out more on the road all right well you we do want to stand out on the road that's why it's a yellow car but first let's modify what's underneath the hood can I put some more horses under there or llamas my car has to run on llamas okay performance installing a part increases the car's performance rating or PR a system for rating the performance of your cars okay with the workshop interface you can easily see how a particular part affects your performance rating So this should be good, so I always would just buy the tunes in Forza, so let's have a look. That one there we don't have a level for, but this one we can buy. So we get the green increase there. Why not? We've got 80... 85,000 left. Don't have that part yet. Okay, cosmetic parts. You gave us some wheels. Thank God. So with yellow, I think black is going to be a good suit. Although red would be nice. Let's equip that one. We've also got something in here, tinted windows. Ninety five percent tinted, or do that one. Just cosmetics. Oh, they're giving me this one. Oh, well. Can we buy anything else for it? Well, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Task completed. How do we leave? And what is this? They gave me some crowns, okay. Yes, sir. You have a... Uh... Oh, I don't have another car to change into, so... Yeah, the graphics on this are very sharp. Um, so yeah, I, I've had a lot Congratulations more. Congratulations on your first upgrade. 
Don't forget, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Success with available, the graphics on this than I did with the motor sport when I tried it. It's just the demo. Get yourself noticed. Take the fifth exit. All right, so clans are watching. So what does that mean? Yes. Uh, we'll go to that one. car seems to be fixed. I thought it was dinked up a little bit from the uh, race earlier, but uh, it's definitely driving a little bit different now, so those parts definitely uh, changed its uh, Let's go! Start race. Look at us, we're level 5 already. We'll be level 5 million in no time. I like the uh, logo they've got as well for the uh, searching thing. It's like a little diamond type spin around. Race preparation. Three, two, one. I tried the um, the crew too, and that came out as a demo, and uh, I just could not vibe with it. Uh, Motorfest, I had frame rate issues with the law; it just was not optimizing. Period. But this, whilst I can see some little discrepancies, I think that obviously once it releases, it will be a bit more optimized. And I think the question is going to be like getting the cars, how easy it is to get more cars, that sort of thing. But uh, the cheaper end cars will probably be easier, but the more like you know, Bugattis or probably other things will probably be more. Um, more long term trying to get. This car's going pretty good. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, potato, you can move it. 
Be a good potato and get around the track. That's your new name. So far, so good. And graphically, it looks quite nice. Excellent. I wonder if they're going to, they'd have to be introduced in more poses down the track, down the line as well, I would imagine. Give it some more reputation. Some more money. And when we saw the cars at the beginning, it's 1.6 million uh, for like, a, what was it, a Corvette, I think it was. Leave race. 